Hello YouTubers, this is Dandy Morgan L with uh, another tutorial. This one is going to be on how to make uh, this one little user bar right here. Alright, so first off, we'll want to we'll want to start off by uh, downloading that one zip file I have for you. It you can find it um in the video description for the download link and uh inside you will find visitor font uh scan line simpson cut and user bar template okay so inside here is a font that you will be needing so go ahead and download that there's a readme on how to download it Okay, so start off by opening the user bar template. Once you open that up, uh, you want to select the colors you're going to be using. Like I'm going to use black and blue. Uh, dark black and a dark blue. And now what you want to do is open up your render. Once you have those two windows open I'll open up the dialog slayer by going to dialog slayers or pressing control L okay what you want to go under is bucket fill tool and and go under pattern fill and select the scan lines once you have that selected go under gradient tool and then make sure you have foreground to background for the gradient and for shape put it under linear and now go right about in the middle and then hold down control and drag it across okay now you want to create a new layer control shift n or just press the new layers in the layer dialog We'll name this layer scan lines. And I hit enter. Okay, so go under the uh, bucket tool and you already have that selected. So you wanna just click right on the user bar and now it'll be right there. Okay, let's create a, another new layer. We'll call this one 3D effect. This will give us the 3D effect, uh, like in the example I showed you, how at the top it had like a little white thing, light transparency white thing. My idea is I just use the ellipse select tool and just put about halfway. And now go under fill tool and now for the click on background fill tool and have it white and put that now in the layer layers dialog for the opacity or transparency put it around 30 you can it's better if you have nothing selected and I have mine at 34.4 whichever one you want now go ahead and create a new layer call this one render Okay, go ahead over to your render, which you had open before, and click on the magic wand tool, and just select your character. And now go under select, invert, and now cut and paste. And now paste now click and drag him around like that now that you got that oh now that you got your render in you can go ahead and close out the render thing and now what you want to do is the text so Make sure you have the font installed and go under TT1. 
and it's not popping up. Visitor, visitor TT1 Bark, B R K. Uh, put it around 10, see which best fits. And now for me, I'm gonna use a dark blue. Now, I'm gonna type in Dandy Morgan L. There's no need to make it capital because it's already capital. And now just click on one of the letters and drag it to the left side. All right, now what we want to do is make it like a transparent, like have it bold around it. So what we'll do is go under alpha to selection, right click on the layer, and now create a new layer, call this one black. And okay, now just drag it right under the text. Now. Now click on the uh, fill tool, foreground fill, now fill it with black. Okay, now you can go under select none, and now it looks a bit bolder. If this dark blue was over near this side, it would the outline would be black. Alright. And if you want to, you can have a border to do the border. Create a new layer and call it border. And now what you want to do is go under file or select all. And edit stroke selection. Stroke it by... One to three, I'm gonna do two. Solid color. Make sure you have black. Solid color. I'm using two, you can use one, two, or three, or four, whichever one you want to. Depending on how thick you want the border, I'm gonna stroke that. You can't really see it because of the line right there, but It'll show up soon when you go to post it on websites and stuff. Now, go ahead and save it. Save as if you want to keep the user bar template. And we'll save this as... Dan D. Morgan L. User bar 4. Dot PNG. I like to save mine as PNG because PNG is like really cool. And you can choose either one, but for best results, I I like to choose merge visible layers and export. Keep them at the same thing that you see here and save. And no changes. And now you can just go ahead and close it out. I had close out GIMP and open up the file. See, now it has a black outline right there. And that was Dandy Morganelle's user bar tutorial. Thank you for watching.